Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So on today's video, I'm going to help you answer a very simple yet very important question. Should you be continuing your SIP in this market or not? Where did this all discussion stem from? Well, two, three facts. Number one, that if you have been doing SIPs for the last one year, most likely you would have lost money. This is fact number one. Fact number two is that industry veterans right now, right? For example, Mr. S. Narin are saying that, see, if you don't have a 20 year viewpoint on SIP and you can't do your SIP for 20 years, please do not get into the SIP game. It might be a bad market cycle. So stay away. Okay. On the flip side, we have other industry veterans. For example, Radhika Gupta. She is saying ki the only statement that I can make and I will read the statement. Otherwise, I can get sued. So the statement says that if you do SIP and if you are a 10 year SIP customer, you are not like likely to lose money. This is the only statement that we are making. Now, this looks cautionary, right? Ki yaar, achha, hai, bata di aapne, this is like a long lawyer language or whatever, right? So this is the viewpoint. Okay. So on this video, I'm going to help you understand with data, some practical realities. Now, what do I mean by practical realities? Let me ask you a question. So for example, many of you would have heard KRC, if you do your SIP for 20 years, you will become billionaire and you'll become a king. Okay. But ask practically that can you do SIP for 20 years, you might not have a job, okay, you might get fired, there might be some family emergency, right. So can you technically like keep on doing SIP every month 10 20,000 rupee for the next 20 years to see the magic of compounding and all that stuff? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. So there are a lot of practical challenges. So what's a better strategy or more practical strategy? I'll explain that also. Okay. Before we continue with the video, I want to share something valuable with you. If you can dedicate three hours investing in yourself, I would highly recommend joining this three hour crash course on AI training. It's valued at 4,999 rupees, but it is completely free for my audiences. This three hour crash course on AI training is happening at 7 p.m. on the weekdays. You can find the link to sign up in the description and comment box. On this program, you will learn 20 plus AI tools to build AI toolkit. You will learn prompt engineering to achieve incredible results, data analytics without coding, using AI in Excel and creating professional dashboards, developing AI agents and automating your work. Now this training is applicable for people from tech and non-tech sectors, be it sales, marketing, HR, operations, and even freelancers. Over 1 lakh people from over 40 countries have signed up for this training. So in case you are interested, you can check the links in the description and comment box. And with that said, let's move to the main video. So let us begin. And first and foremost, let us look at the power of SIPs. Are SIPs powerful? Yes. Okay. Uh, why? I will show you two data points. And this is like the first key thing index, right? And here you can see that the person invested 10,000. This is actual, right? Actual portfolio between the period 2002 all the way till 2022, 20 year SIP, right? And it compounded at a 12.3% CAGR. So this is not a joke. Okay. And 24 lakh investment got turned into 95 lakhs investment. So are SIPs powerful? Yes, they are powerful. Okay. But I would argue that any kind of investing is powerful. For example, if you go, right, and if you have purchased a very good property, right, or if you have purchased a villa anywhere, right, Bangalore, Othalo, right, yeah, Goa, Othalo, right, wherever, do you not think that this investment would have like almost 4x, right? If, for example, this property, right, or this patch of land would have become 4x, or this villa would have become 4x. I'm not here to start a debate whether, you know, real estate is better or whether, you know, doing SIP in mutual fund is better, this, that stuff. According to me, you should do both. If you guys want, I can make a video. I myself do both. And I have been a firm advocate of doing both. I have acquired a lot of properties. I invest in the stock market. Now, why? Because this is different. This gives you a lot of liquidity. This can also give you a lot of growth, the real estate. So, dono mein difference alag -alag hai. but what I wanted to tell you is that if you invest in any good asset over a long term period, 20, 30, 40 years, 50 years, then of course it is going to go up in value. Okay. So this is point number one. Doing this in a diversified manner is the trick. I'll speak about it in a minute. Okay. But yes, I wanted to show you the power of compounding that does it really help in SIP? Yes, it does. It definitely works. So there is no doubt that SIPs generate wealth, right? So then what is the debate about? Why is it that people have suddenly started creating fuss about SIPs? Okay. So let's, let me just take you through both the statements that Mr. S. Narin has made, right? So the first statement is that outlook for SIPs started 2023 onwards is very bad unless they are 20 year SIPs. IP. So 2023, I'll explain that. Second key thing is that we think that it is clear 
टाइम टू टेक आउट लॉक स्टॉक एंड बैरल फ्रॉम स्मॉल एंड मिड कैप्स उन्होंने दूसरी चीज भी बोल दी कि भाई देखो एस आई पी इफ यू हैव डन इट ऑन स्मॉल एंड मिड कैप्स बच के रहो राइट सो दैट इज अ सिंपल लैंग्वेज दैट इज यूजिंग सो नाउ लेट मी हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड बोथ दीज व्यू पॉइंट सिस्टमेटिकली इन अ मोर माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक वे ओके सो लेट्स फर्स्ट टेक अ लुक एट निफ्टी फिफ्टी विच इज द कलेक्शन ऑफ टॉप फिफ्टी स्टॉक्स इन इंडिया एंड लेट एस स्टडी हाउ मच रिटर्न हैव दीज स्टॉक्स गिवेन सिंस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी राइट और जस्ट बिफोर द कोविड फॉल सो इफ यू टेक अ लुक एट दिस चार्ट हेयर सो दिस इज लाइक द स्टार्ट ऑफ कोविड फॉल राइट सो यहाँ से देखते हैं right the market was at peak and since then the market has given 83% right so from 2020 almost 5 saal ho gaye right so in 5 years 83% so around 14 15% ke aas pass cagr hoga so let me just note it down for you and this is for large cap right nifty 50 the cagr must be around 14 to 15% from covid top now what is the standard cagr of nifty 50 on the last 20 year basis we just checked it was around 12 12.3% now is this way off the short answer is absolutely not right it's not as if that this is massively overvalued if we consider the pre covid era so on a 5 year basis the market seems to be fairly priced now if you are doing sip in large caps right which are nifty 50 types is there any problem the short answer is no is there a better strategy yes which i'll explain in a minute okay but let's look at mid cap and small caps okay so let's go to covid market right so this is your covid right and now how much has the market gone up by so the markets have gone up by approximately 170 175% now what is the standard cagr to be expected it's around 18 20 के आसपास अगर आप मान लो राइट दैट इज अ स्टैंडर्ड फॉर मिड कैप एंड स्मॉल कैप नाउ व्हाट इज द एवरेज सीएजीआर यू हैव सीन फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर वेल ऑन अ 5 ईयर बेसिस दिस मस्ट बी लाइक बिटवीन 30 33% ओके सो इज देयर मोर चांसेस ऑफ फॉलिंग हियर द शॉर्ट आंसर इज अ यस सो इज मिस्टर नारेन राइट यस अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इज ओके सो देयरफॉर लाइक गिवन द फैक्ट इफ यू आर पिकिंग लाइक मिड कैप स्मॉल कैप एज इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स ऑफ इन्वेस्टिंग इन एन एसआईपी मोड व्हाट आर यू डूइंग यू आर एक्चुअली पुटिंग मनी एट एवरी डॉट हियर राइट या आप तो सिस्टमेटिकली करते चले जा रहे हो इन अ मार्केट व्हिच इज स्टिल ओवरवैल्यूड सो इट माइट फॉल टिल हियर एंड यू माइट एंड अप लूजिंग अ लॉट ऑफ मनी राइट सो दैट इज व्हाट ही इज फॉर वार्निंग as per my understanding he's not here to create panic and tell you like some incorrect things per se okay now what about like nifty 50 right nifty 50 mein kya hota hai right now nifty 50 mein what you need to understand is that it's very easy to do sips in nifty 50 if you have little bit of sense and therefore i'll encourage all of you to learn these type of techniques that i'm teaching you right so, or or i'm about to teach you okay so for example this is a very clear channel right so this channel right ki market made it stop here then it fell it went like this and now it is here now should you be doing sip here for this month the short answer is absolutely not i have been ke 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 thak gaya main right ki it's not as if that you have to buy every month you buy here right so this is where you could potentially buy right now in case you get an opportunity ki market aisa ja gaya fir yahan pe gaya should you sell here yes some part of it you should sell for example if you have invested let's say 1 lakh here now how much should you sell 60000 ka bech do yahan right whatever gains come now if there is a breakout for example yahan pe breakout hua right ki this is called as breaking out ki market upar nikal gaya right for example this was a channel and this was a breakout right to aapko breakout identify if you are able to do then you buy just before breakout then you sell it when the next channel gets formed all these are called as little bit of technical analysis right so doing blind sip investing does not make sense right irrespective of the market situation that that theory does not work right it, it does not make any it does not have any head or leg to it investing world is very simple that jaise aap property kharidne jaate ho right ki for example if there is a villa that you are looking to buy what will you check right you will check the price right at which you are getting kya matlab ki nahi hum to faltu mein kharidte rahenge no you buy an asset only when the asset is good and it is available at a good price also okay now the good news about stocks is that you are able to do technical analysis on things okay now in case you guys are interested i run courses around it my next course is coming up it's in dubai where i will talk about international investing dollar hedging वगैरह वगैरह चीजें सो इन केस यू गाइज आर कीन प्लीज साइन अप यूजिंग द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स इट्स गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी थरो डिटेल्ड वर्कशॉप इट गिव्स यू एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंटरेक्ट विद पीपल आल्सो आई आल्सो रन स्टॉक मार्केट कोर्सेज सो इन केस यू आर कीन यू कैन चेक इट सो आई होप दैट दिस पॉइंट इज क्लियर दैट वेन यू शुड बी डूइंग एस आई पी वर्स इज नॉट राइट एंड मेजोरिटी ऑफ द केस यू शुड नॉट बी अनलेस इट इज सपोर्टेड बाई टेक्निकल दैट्स द एडवांस सिंपल स्ट्रेटेजी दैट यू शुड नो इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड लिटरली लाइक अ हैंडफुल ऑफ डिसेंट पॉइंट अबाउट स्टॉक इन्वेस्टिंग यू विल बी एबल टू अवर्स अ लॉड ऑफ लॉसेज ओके सो दैट्स द so now comes the next category of customers right who will say that you know what boss mujhe nahi karna hai technical technical right tell me like you know what i have heard is that 20 year sip irrespective of the market circumstances i'll make crazy money okay so is this 
true or was this true in the past? Yes, right. So for example, I showed you the data from 2002 to 2022. Okay. Now you saw someone converting their 25 lakhs into 1 crore. Okay. You will be very, very happy. Okay, okay boss, here is fun. Right. SIP is great. Okay. Now, does this theory apply from 2025 to 2045? The short answer is a no. Okay. Now, why is the short answer a no? Because India of 2002, right? is very different from India of 2005. Now, what are some things that have changed, right? The first key thing that has changed is that the size of India's GDP was very small. Now here in 2025, the size of India's GDP is much bigger, okay? So growing on that base, right? From this to this, doubling karna asane, right? But going from here to here, right? It's tougher, okay? This is point one. And this is also supported by the fact that our growth rate is low as of now. Okay. Second key point that you need to understand is that a lot of our market back in 2002 was unorganized. Okay. And here again, we are primarily unorganized, but a lot of this unorganized market got converted into an organized market. Just like for example, Zomato, Swiggy, restaurant ka dhanda ka hai, right? Paytm, cash ka dhanda ka hai, right? And all that stuff is happening, right? All the DMART, Reliance Mart are eating away like, you know, small Kirana shops and all that. So what has happened is that a lot of unorganized stuff got converted into organized. Now, again, this needs to happen for our markets to double, right? So that's point two, right? Our consumption power has also gone up, right? Consumption power has also gone up, right? Here, maybe growth will come from here to here. What I'm trying to tell you is that, see, I'm not trying to cast aspersions, ki, you know, the market cannot double from here or something of that sort of course it can okay but you need to understand the fact or one central point is the fact that see back in 2002 not many people were doing sips in 2025 crazy number of people are doing sip it's the most overused tool in the market right now now what this is leading to is it's an economic debate right now i don't know right what is definitely going to happen is that there's a lot of volatility the volatility means the market makes a very big high or high high and a low low okay so this gap is huge this range is huge this is called as volatility volatility right this range was not huge so ability to be invested at the right time in this range that is important i'm not advising you to become a trader what i'm trying to tell you is that whenever you're looking to invest your money you need to opportunistically buy that is the most important nuanced point that you need to understand the returns that you will make on your SI will primarily be dictated by this ability. Again, in case you guys are interested in learning all these techniques, I teach it on my YouTube member community courses, etc. You check out the links in the description and comment box. Now, okay, the next point that comes in order to do a smart SIP is that you must understand and be honest with yourself that see, if SIP investing is not working, that you should be able to cut position. People like Mr. Narain should not be influencing you. People like me should not be influencing you. Someone else who is bullish about SIP should not be investing you. SIP is just an investing style. But if you see things going down, then at least you must have the know-how of cutting positions. Now, the biggest problem in SIP doing is the fact that you don't know how to cut positions at all. Because what is your habit? Let's go, 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 let us go 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 let
this is one of the key things that i'm studying on a full time basis i run a hedge fund here in dubai right i constantly study this bit i have been learning international investing the last year has been very very rewarding for me because i was able to understand different different bits and capital rotation is absolutely critical right you must go to geographies where you see that the principal can be protected okay so i would highly encourage you as step 1 to learn more about us stock investing because that is easier for indians to do rather than constantly believing in the bs that you know what okay sip pe aapka hamesha return banega nahi banega because a lot depends on where the government's focus is do they want to push more money through the stock market Many things which are beyond your control so i'm just giving you very honest take on it so in summary you will study two viewpoints coming out in the sip market one would be from people like mr s narain who is cautiously warning the investors ki boss dekh lo aisa nahi hai ki you know you are going to make crazy money do i agree with that yes in order to avoid that what you can do you can be more selective in terms of your buying be it across like large caps aise bhi acche hain small caps mid caps you could potentially not do anything on it right that's another key point on a long term basis please understand the fact that you know markets do go down if you see poor economic policies being exhibited poor taxation policies being exhibited then we can fall into traps like ftse right uk abhi mere ko pata hai like log shuru ho jayenge aise kaise bol diya aapne india ke khilaf and i'm not saying anything against india ke khilaf my own money is in india okay it's not as if that i have stopped investing in indian stocks i do feel potential in indian stocks i do feel it is going to do well but having said this it's important to be vigilant it's important to be aware of macroeconomics and then make these type of sip decision now sip is not ki it bilkul andhe ho jao and keep on investing at whatever levels okay that's not the point i hope you got the intent with which i was speaking if you did do press the like button and subscribe to the channel i'll see you soon